friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I would love to talk about serving a cup of coffee. And you're thinking, hey, a cup of coffee, that is so easy, you just put it down on the table. Yes, but no, there's some small details with a cup of coffee that can make your service super special. And I really love the small details. And that's what also just really adds up to make a service an excellent experience. So hang on to the end of the video so you get all the tips about serving coffee and we'll talk a little bit about how to serve tea. So I have some parts to the coffee. I have a little napkin. I always like to have just a little napkin unless they already have a napkin on the table. And just in case they have a little spill, I have an espresso here. I have a little teacup here. I have some I have a tea and I also have a little cup here for the tea and that's because when somebody, you know, is dunking their, well like pretend here, is dunking this in the tea, then they think, oh it's strong enough, you know what, they have somewhere to put it. Or either you have a little under cup or saucer with it that they can set it on the side. I preferably like the little cup though because sometimes when you set the tea bag on the saucer, then it gets the bottom of the cup all kind of wet and then things end up dripping, hopefully not on their clothes. So I think it's a really nice service to have a little extra cup when you have the tea. A lot of times in cafes or maybe your restaurant, of course, you'll have a packet of sugar or two, or maybe the sugar will be on the side, so don't forget that. Or you might have a little piece of chocolate on the side, which I always think is really, really nice. So today we have our saucer, and then we also have our little cup here. Uh, it says Lavasa, that's what we're working with today. Good coffee, not sponsored. And we also have a spoon. And thinking and just assuming, I know it's not the right thing, but that people are right-handed. So always keeping it when you serve it to the guest that the little you know, handle here is on the right-hand side. Then I'm gonna touch the chocolate, which I'm doing. I will put that on the left-hand side. And then I will also take the spoon and put it behind so that they can grab the spoon with their right hand, stir if they need to, and then they can also pick up with their right hand and drink so no one has to cross over to the other side. It's very small detail, but super nice. If I'm going to end up setting it down for my guests, maybe I'll put the little napkin down first for them if they're sitting right here. And then I will set this down so, like that. Enjoy. And of course, if there is a little teacup, I will set this down and give them their little cup here. Maybe I already have a tea in the cup so that it's steamy, steepy while, uh, while I was serving it so they can drink it a little bit faster. I also like with a cup of coffee, if you make sure that there's already a little bit of water on the table or maybe just a little cup of water. A lot of times in Italy, for example, you get a little cup of water with your coffee and I think it's so nice. Coffee's a little bit drying to the mouth sometimes and it's so nice to have just a little refresher of some water. I also want to remind you that at the end of the meal, a lot of people think coffee is the very end, especially in Europe. So if you're going to be offering desserts or some type of sweets before that, make sure to do it before you offer your coffee. So for example, if you say, oh, would you like to try our apple pie or eclair, whatever it is, and then they say yes to one of the things, you can kind of nod and be like, oh, and a cup of coffee, maybe the espresso or a cappuccino, smile and wait and see what they say. Hopefully they will take it. Otherwise, a lot of times people just come in for a cup of coffee. And there you go, you have it also, also an opportunity to maybe sell a little piece of chocolate or a small piece of cake or something. I love coffee with something a little bit sweet. So I hope this tip and trick, this small little detail can help bump up your service a little bit. Hey, and leave me a comment below and I hope you have an amazing week. I'm Ginny May, the Intergalactic Supreme Goddess of Guest Service, and thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like more tips and tricks on service, how to up your service game, click here. And please subscribe by pressing my face right here, and don't forget to ring the bell so that you get a new video notification every Waiters Weekend. Follow me on Instagram 